Welcome back to another video and in this day most of us have a very high speed internet ranging from around 10 Mbps to way more than uh, 100 or 200 Mbps but there are people who do not have the privilege of having such high speed internet so if you are one of those who do not have a very high speed internet who cannot download at a very high speed or stream smoothly so of course downloading a 1.4 gigabyte operating system for your raspberry pi must be really difficult so for you i have something today and that is the 32 megabyte operating system so yes and a whole a whole linux based operating system for your raspberry pi 3 in just 32 megabytes and these are the files that will be available in the description go ahead and download them this is the zipped image as you can see it's just a little bit over 32 megabytes uh, coming at around 32.4 megabytes and once you extract it this is what you get now this file is your main file that you would load onto your sd card this comes at around 138 megabytes uh, it's basically mostly uh, filled with zeros except for that 32 megabyte of data and what you get is a very very basic Yocto based Linux operating system uh, with Linux kernel 4.4 and you can uh, download this right now and use your and use your favorite SD card image writer like Win32 Disk Imager, DD or whatever you want to use so all you need to do is take your micro SD card and insert it on your system so what you will need to do is right click on this image open with other application and then open this image what with your favorite disk image writer so uh, i'm using the one that uh, comes by default in uh, ubuntu and most gnome based uh, linux op, uh, environments and once you select this uh, and here you can select your uh, drive so i select my 8 gigabyte uh, sd card and then uh, click on start restoring it will ask me for my password and once it's done it will be very very quick quicker than most operating systems because it needs to write only 32 gigabytes of data and nothing more and once that it's there you can see there are the partitions and uh, most of it as i said is a free space so we can go ahead and eject that and now plug it in on to our raspberry pi all right so i am back and this is what the boot screen looks like i have just plugged in my raspberry pi in it and it has already booted so as you can see uh being a smaller uh, being smaller in size it actually does boot very quickly now uh there is no password by default and the login is root so i do uh, request you to first uh set a password all right so uh, i'll uh, zoom into the uh, text actually on the screen and i'll zoom in on the console and so we'll uh, see so as you can see this is the uh, this is the console that we get uh, after booting this uh, first of all i like to show you that it is actually running on linux 4.4 So as you can see this is the same kernel as uh, it's used on Raspbian so in terms of uh, the Linux kernel itself you are getting on the pretty much the same package so this is the 4.4.9 build and uh, now uh, the network also works so I can uh, ping So as you can see uh, in this 32 bit uh, operating system uh, in this 32 megabit uh, megabyte operating system uh, the network actually works pretty well and uh, I'm successfully able to ping Google and so uh, this is pretty much a very bare bone Linux operating system uh, nothing much to do um, uh, if you really want to uh, make it work you will have to install a lot of packages yourself but then again you are getting an operating system in just 32 megabytes so uh thank you so much for watching guys and i will see you next time